Wales captain Sam Warburton gave some lucky Admiral staff an exclusive tour of the Millennium Stadium and answered their questions. I'm sure there's loads of things about match day which you want to find out, which is quite you know quirky little funny things. But yeah, this is every single home game. Um, normally before the game, people think it's when it's busiest, but for me, um, when I'm captain of the side anyway, this is always the busiest time, the hour after a game. <laughs> This place is amazing. It's uh, we normally always walk in. Everyone crams in down here. The coaches will stand where you are and talk to us as a group. Uh, and if you win, you know we always have our sort of celebratory photos up in these corners here when we all cram in and stuff after the, the Six Nations or good wins. So this is the starting 15, and the subs bench sit over here. Uh, Lee Halfpenny is normally sat down pretty silent for most of the time. He's pretty uh, quiet, nervous guy. I'm pretty similar. I said that's my slot. You know, it's always. Uh, if it's that sort of like a home from home, really. I love it there, you know, on match days. And you're waiting outside then, and we're all sort of pretty revved up, and I'm, you know, pumped up, ready to go. And there's normally then a little terrified five year old boy, sort of ball boy, waiting outside. Because I have to sort of, I have to change then and be like, oh, hey, what's your name? Have you done this before? Obviously, he hasn't, but just making conversation. Uh, and I just say, oh, when we go out, it'll be fireworks, be quite loud. Turn around our photo, your mum and dad will be there. You go down the tunnel, then it's sort of this red mist and this wall of noise. And you're sort of walking down, you can't really see further than a foot in front of your face. It still sort of surprises me every time you walk out and you get all the, that noise and, and the fans support. And never mind what like the little six, seven year old boy is thinking, you know, they must be loving it. Yeah, this is where, this is what the bit I was on about where they have the sort of mist and stuff. And you probably don't manage to see the pitch really until, so they sort of drag that out a little bit. Um, so you don't really see the pitch until maybe a few yards back. But um, no, I mean, it's, it's better when the roof is shut for me personally. I prefer it when the roof is shut. And, um, you know, it's very strange when you're in the middle, you know, doing the anthem. I mean, it's unbelievable. When you're sat you know, on the pitch and you're looking up at the three tiers and you just sort of, you know, all those people represent, you know, the whole country really, you know, supporting you. Um, it's the best, best feeling to, to be standing there, so it's amazing. I've, how many times have I played at home? I might have played at home. I think sometime the other day I've had about 46 caps, I think about maybe 27, 28 in the Millennium Stadium, something like that. And um, you know, I never get used to it. It's always amazing to run out in front of that crowd. It's like I said down there, it is by far, um, from an atmosphere point of view, the best rugby stadium that I've played in. Twickenham comes second. Um, other than that, there's some pretty big ones in Australia we played in, but, but we, by far the Millennium, when it's your home crowd as well, um, it means so much more. So yeah, it is, it's incredible. Beat your Southern Hemisphere team. Um, so I don't think, uh, people talk about Wales as contenders for the World Cup. I don't think we can call ourselves contenders until we beat a Southern Hemisphere team. It would be impossible to go into a World Cup and win unless you beat a Southern Hemisphere side. You always get across, you know, pass for one of them through the groups or through the um, knockout stages. So beat a Southern Hemisphere team um, and to win the Six Nations. We wanted to obviously win win it last year, make it three in a row. Um, but obviously this year round, you know, three and four years, we've been pretty impressive as well. So, you know, beat us in hands with your team and, um, and get our Six Nations title back.